Hello, my friends. This is the progress of the starter Scooby that we are Today making. Today is day five. This is where we're at. You can see right on this top surface, there's some little bit of the mother starting. Today is day 15 since I started and let me show you what's going on here. I haven't stirred these up, kept them very still. Let me zoom in a little bit here and you can see how much has grown and it's enough time that I can take those out and use that as my starter for a large batch of kombucha. So that's the next step. I'll remove those and get a new batch going. Here's the kombucha after 16 days. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. These were left undisturbed uh, in my cupboard and I just pulled them out. Um, they both have good growth and we'll get a close up here. Here's the one. Nuts. A good uh, three eighths of an inch thick. This other one is not quite as thick, but it's adequate. And what I found if you disturb these uh, while well, it's in the process of working that the layers can separate if you move them shake them up so they may not the layers may not join uh, won't be one layer okay now what to do after you finish these the reason you made them was to be able to make a batch of uh, kombucha to drink and this is sitting in kombucha um, if you let it go a long time, it'll be almost like drinking vinegar. And uh, we're going to, you can either take this out and store it or go and put it right into a batch. So I have already mixed up some tea. It's warm right now. And uh, the level is right about here. So that's allowing me to get in here. Now it sinks. Okay, um, we need to add kombucha into the tea to, to increase the acidity anyway. So I'm going to pour this in here. This is uh, acidic. And that may allow me to grab that. There it is. It's pretty firm. Now all we need to do is let that float and it sinks. And I can top it up. It's okay if it sinks. It's still going to work. Okay, this other batch, uh, that's filled. So I'm going to, since I withdrew a lot of the kombucha out of my storage container, I'm going to uh, put the remaining in here. And I could add both of these to my batch that I'm making. Or I could just put it into storage. But I think I'm going to put both of them in here and that should kick start it a little quicker because it's a larger volume of Scooby. 
and then this container now has Scooby in it uh, that I can use to be adding to uh, new batches as I'm making it. And this stuff right here is the batch. Uh, that's why I waited 16 days. Uh, I didn't get around to emptying my container and filling these jars up. Uh, I ended up getting eight, almost eight. This one here is not quite full of Scooby. So that's pretty good out of the container. Okay, um, the Scoobies just came to the surface. Right there. Okay, now what I need to do is cover it and keep it warm. Keep it in my kitchen. And let this set for a week. And I have enough bottles made that's for, that'll last me two weeks right here. So I might let this go a little bit longer than a week. I'll put this out of my way and I can leave it sit there and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.